no such thing as the perfect RV. I still always looking at other RVs. I sold my condo last year so I have to move into this full time so this is where my focus has been this is a 2012 Airstream Flying Cloud front twin bedroom and the first thing I did was take out most of the furniture and then remodel the sink um, on the outside I've added uh, two max air I replaced the fantastic fans uh, the max air is just a much better fan I've got 600 watts of solar on the roof. I've got two 100 amp hour lithium Battleborn batteries. And um, I haven't done a lot of, well, I haven't done any modifications to the outside. So the bedroom is here. Two propane tanks, the big ones, hmm. the tall ones. Electric tongue jack. Okay. So you don't need to sweat. No, no, I'm, I'm too lazy for that. Yeah, it has to be powered. I use the uh, Anderson leveling block. You've probably seen these before. They're easy. Yeah. You just roll up onto it and then you can adjust the uh, height of the trailer. That's the X chalk. You put that between the tires and then the trailer can't move back and forth. So it's for safety, it won't, the trailer won't rock when you're walking around. Um, from this side, you can see two of the panels you can see since it's winter time I have them tilted so you don't get much sun in the winter time because the sun is so low in the sky but if you angle your panel like this my output goes from about maybe 280 watts in full sun to the tilted panel I get about 420 watts in the winter time so a big difference if you if you tilt your panel the sticker that's a NASA sticker I'm a fan of the space program. So because the Airstream trailer is what the Apollo astronauts use when they return from the moon, they put the Apollo astronaut in the Airstream trailer for quarantine. So since we're in COVID, this is my quarantine. So it's the same as the Apollo astronaut quarantine. <laughs> yeah. That's why. Is it bumper? It's just storage. That's where you put the sewer hose. Mm -hmm. this we just have to take this a little safety bracket so it doesn't come open when you're driving so you just manual awning yes um i don't like the electric awnings uh, there's just too many things that can go wrong yeah yeah, I, if I had the choice, I would get the manual awning. Uh, it's just less things to go wrong and uh, not as much to worry about. Yeah, I agree. So these are kind of interesting awnings. I never had one of these before. Um, it's called a Zip D awning and it's Airstreams always use these. And at first, it seems kind of complicated, but once you've done this a few times, it's quite simple. You just grab this arm and you throw it here, and then you lock the spring and that. And we do the same thing here. Tilting one way when it rains. Yeah, yeah, the water. you can tilt it. Yeah. yeah. I usually make it higher on this side so it clears the door better. So, yeah, there you go. It's nice yeah. on it. So, um, my next change to this trailer is I'm, I'm going to get the awning on the back 
and then the awning on the other side too so in the desert in the summertime it's nice to have awning all the way around so um, on the inside what I've done I, I mentioned I took out the dinette I took out the couch I put in a desk I redid the sink uh, remodeled the sink and changed the stove um, I still have to and well, I added a different furnace a Propex furnace I still have to do the floor I still have to add a second furnace couple odds and ends you so. didn't like original ones yeah. original ones already installed you didn't like it so you oh yeah. no because if you look where my desk is that's where the furnace was so if the stock furnace is there I have no place to put my desk so I mm -hmm. had to take out the stock furnace to 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 make the changes I would prefer to keep the stock furnace because there's a lot of work to put in your own furnace mm -hmm. and it cost me a lot of money but I wanted to have a desk that was important to me why important to you because the dinette for me is just takes up space I have no I have no use for the dinette you're yeah. using desk a lot a lot of time you use 90% of the time in the trailer I'm at the desk you work there no uh, yeah, yeah I work I watch YouTube I stare out the window I read my <laughs> book that's where I hang out you have to have a good hangout Okay. You know that you're full time. You still working or retire? No. I'm I'm in a no man's land between unemployed and retired. Somewhere in there. I'm not sure yet. Maybe I go back to work, but I'm not sure. Hmm. You have a lot of specialty experience. I was um I've had two different companies. I started out as a bike messenger. I started a bike messenger company. You know, we deliver documents and such on bicycle. Then after that, I went to the Philippines. I started a data entry company, so I was a programmer. I did all the programming. Um, I did that for about 20 years. So I commuted from California to the Philippines about three times a year for a long time. And that's it. I you haven't been to Korea? Yeah, I've been to Korea many times. Then how can you say hello in Korean? I don't know. I was, I, that was back in the 70s. No, I don't remember. 안녕하세요. Okay, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> you have a friend. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you? You cute. Where are you from? Hmm? Where's mama? Hmm? Yeah. Where's mama? So, um, so if you like, I, I won't, I'm not going to go in the trailer with you because I don't want to be indoors right now hmm. together. But if you want to stand inside and just like look around, you're welcome to. You can see everything from the front door okay. right there. Okay, thank you. Oh, you don't have to. That's fine. Yeah. You're good. But at least you can get an idea. Wow, it's so open space. I like Very having big. an open space. That to me is more important than the dinette. And if you wow. want, you can look towards the uh, front. This is very wide. You can see the, the twin bed layout is very good because it makes the trailer very long. Yeah, wow. This is the airstream, really. Yeah. Yeah. And then you can see the uh, all of the gray quartz on the countertop, all is redone. There's twin bed. Wow. Wow. Very nice view. Yeah. Can I open the bathroom? No, it's work in progress still. Okay, this I'm is the bathroom. I'm in process of adding a composting toilet. Yeah. So, next Very time good. we see each other, you have a Park B. Okay, so you modify this sink? Yes, that's all aftermarket, yeah. Very nice. It's all uh, gray quartz. Yeah. Now I understand why Airstream is so expensive than other trailers. Yeah. Yeah, really different. Yes. Very. It's all the windows. Windows everywhere. Yeah. Mm. Everything's metal. Yeah. So if you come here, I can show you how they, they did this. Okay. Underneath this skin is aluminum frame. Mm -hmm. And so see, this is all hand rivet into the frame. Yeah. It's a lot of work. Look how many rivets there are. 
and it's all down the whole trailer so the skin is riveted look at this window see it took yeah. many hours just to that's why it lasts so long years and that's why it's so expensive too yeah it's a lot of manual labor yeah so even though it's used one the price is not very yeah no, go the, down low. the airstream holds the price very well mm. well i bought this trailer used and it's almost the same price as what the guy bought it for new mm -hmm. so the person that had this trailer before me they yeah. lost maybe three four thousand dollars that's mm. all yeah not much and they used it for a long time yeah so I'm hoping the same as with me, you know, after I've used this trailer a long time, I move on to something different. Then you Sell use it for, it for free. Yeah, yeah. Sell for the same price. <laughs> yeah. But you can see I've made a lot of improvement already. Yeah. Uh, but so, yeah, once I replace the floor, I add a second heater, a second furnace. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and then I add the other awnings. Oh, and then I want to uh, put a lift kit on it too. Yeah, that's why it looks as a brand new. Even the old Airstream looks new. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because the, the style stays the same. So you could look at an Airstream that's 20 years old and it still looks like the new one. So mm -hmm. between this between this and then the truck is my off-road camper. And then the Airstream is my house. So it's nice setup. And this, this is my fourth RV. Why you so many time you changed your RVs? Because maybe I'm too too uh, picky, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you know, sometimes when you first start going in an RV, you don't get the thing that you really think you need. You can go to my website craiglatham.com and you can see all my different RVs and I, I tell why each one I liked it and what I didn't like about it. Uh, but I started off at the FJ Cruiser, which is the Toyota four-wheel drive. I took the seats out and I slept in the back and that's very good for exploring and going way up into the mountains but for full time it's it's too small you know I needed something bigger so I added a 17 foot casita fiberglass trailer and that was a nice package the little casita trailer I could tow everywhere uh, there's part of me wishes I just would have stayed right there that was a good setup very good setup the FJ Cruiser and the Casita but it, I, I realized I you know I just wanted to keep trying some different combinations right we all do so at that point I bought an Earth Cruiser which is a very high-end cab over exploration vehicle for like global travel it's designed to go across Africa South America anywhere you want to go you can live in this it's a very great RV but they're just so expensive and I wanted more room if I was going to go full-time so after using that for I had it for maybe 12 to 18 months I had a, really enjoyed it but it was expensive and I needed something different so I sold that and then I bought the truck and I put a four-wheel camper on it it was a four-wheel camper is a really nice pop-top camper and you see a lot of people that go full-time in the four-wheel camper but it's very small it would be like living in the sprinter van even maybe a little bit smaller i had an issue with the camper and the trailer so i had to get rid of the camper then i got the canopy i got the canopy the rooftop tent and then those this package works good with this package so everyone is in love now and happy so hopefully I stay with this for a long time, but this was the four four RVs until I finally settled down. You like it so far? I, so far, this is a good yeah. setup. I have a yeah. lot of options. Yeah. I have a way to have my mountain bike. Mm -hmm. I have a way to go remote camping, and then I have my house. I have a comfortable house yeah. where I, you know, I have a place to shower, to fix my food, and I have a really nice bed. So it's like having the Marriott on wheels. <laughs> and if you want to uh, follow more about my equipment and many of the modifications, you're welcome to look me up on Facebook as Craig Latham. And I'm sure Doe will put a link to my website for you on his YouTube page so you can go out and check out my website.
Okay, thank you so much, Craig. I really appreciate you taking your time and then show me your beautiful, nice home airstream and your truck also. You're welcome. We'll meet again uh, maybe next year and I'll show you the new floor and all the other improvements. I'm looking forward to seeing that time. And okay. when you have your airstream too. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I wish. <laughs> okay, all thank right. you very much. Thank you. Bye. Bye.